Our road test by request this week is a family car. More specifically, a car that for most of the last decade was the best-selling car in America. The Ford Taurus, along with its stablemate, the Mercury Sable, bullied the competition with efficient packaging, competent performance, and a long list of safety features. But as time went on, the loyalty of Taurus owners was in doubt. Ford found that younger families were more apt to buy Camrys and Accords. So clearly, a major change was called for. And here it is, the DN-101, the all-new 1996 Ford Taurus. With such a dramatic redesign for both the 96 Ford Taurus and stablemate Mercury Sable, Ford expects to put another 570,000 blue ovals into American garages each year, well into the next century. Actually, there's a lot more ovals here than the one on the grill. Ford has taken an elliptical styling theme to the extreme on the new Taurus. The oval grille is flanked by inset turn signals and clear lens headlamps that repeat the theme. Ditto even small details like the side lamps, door handles, and even the general shape of the passenger compartment. While the Taurus looks smaller, it is actually five and a half inches longer than last year. Around at the rear, the Taurus backlight is also elliptical and helps glide air off a unique light bar that includes a neat integrated spoiler along with oval reflectors. The coefficient of drag is down to a slick .30. The major visual differences for Sable include turn signals inside the grille that also features a lighted M logo, two side windows per side instead of the three on the Taurus, and a more formal roof line and rear fascia treatment that is rather elegant and one-ups other oval efforts like the Infiniti J30. Inside the dual airbag interior, the oval theme continues, but details just warm you up for the wild dash centerpiece the oval integrated control panel. With all controls for ventilation and stereo, this futuristic pod looks at first intimidating, but in use it is quickly mastered while your eyes remain on the road. There are two seating novelties. On the Taurus GL and Sable GS, six passenger seating features a flip fold center section that jackknifes into a storage console with sturdy cup holders. In the back seat, you'll find the only center shoulder belt in its class, along with more legroom and adequate headroom for a six-footer. Here is something else new for Taurus Sable, a 60-40 folding rear seat. The extra cabin space comes from a two and a half inch increase in wheelbase, now at 108 inches. This helps smooth further the good highway ride of the old car. But a complete re-engineering of the chassis, including adding single piece door frames, quietly drives home the handling and feel of an extremely solid European sports sedan. With torsional rigidity up 87% and the inclusion of passive rear steering for the familiar quadrilink rear suspension, the new Taurus and Sable are impressive in tight corners. A high level of advanced engineering abounds. Even the rental car 3-liter pushrod Vulcan V6 engine is revamped. A stiffer block and new intake greatly lowers full throttle noise and vibration. Horsepower is up too to 145 with 170 pound-feet of torque. Taurus GL and Sable LS are powered by an enlarged Duratec V6. Like the jewel that powers the Contour and Mystique, the 24-valve heads and block are all aluminum. Only now, horsepower is a full 200 with 200 pound-feet of torque. Both engines are rated at 100,000 miles between tune-ups. With the Duratec V6, we managed to find 0 to 60 run of 8.7 seconds. That's over a second better than last year's 3.8 liter. Brakes on most models are disc drums, with anti-lock adding disc brakes in the rear. The fast-reacting Bosch 5 ABS system is standard only on the Sable LS. The Bosch ABS system is one of a very long list of Taurus Sable hits. We find the styling smart and forward-thinking, the interior roomy, and the integrated control panel ergonomically near-perfect. The flip-fold front seat and rear center shoulder belt are noteworthy, too. Misses are fewer, again starting with the ABS. It should be standard on all models. There is no performance tire option and no N-Dash CD player. It's also hard to release the folding rear seats from inside the cargo compartment. Speaking of cargo, you can carry 37.3 cubic feet of it before you fold the seats in the even more radically styled Taurus and Sable station wagon. A rear-facing third seat is an option. And now the price. The 1996 Taurus GL starts at $19,150, and that includes air conditioning, power windows, and heated mirrors. 
The Sable GS includes the Micron air filter and starts at $19,545. Prices include destination charges. Our view on Taurus Sable is shared by others. Automobile Magazine says, We like the distinctive styling, the new understanding of the subtleties of quality, and the refinements to the driving experience. That should be enough to keep these cars solidly atop the sales charts. While the Oval Taurus and Sable are nearly as revolutionary as the originals, clearly the market today is a lot different than 1985 when strong competitors were few. Still, Ford has pulled out all the stops with its new design. In our opinion, the 1996 Ford Taurus and Mercury Sable are the future of the midsize family car in America. And it's a future that's blindingly bright.